Well, welcome back with Reach a Volcano of the Day. Sticking with um, the uh, Solomon Islands for Tina Kula, Strata Volcano, 2,792 foot elevation. Although it says dormant, the color on the volcano here says volcanic unrest. Um, tends to be Strombolian in style of eruptions. Conf uh, last erupted in 2019, that's a bit questionable, but question but confirmed in 2012. Now, I'm not sure how you go with a volcanic eruption in 2019 and not notice a volcano erupting with satellites and everything. But anyways, Tinacula Volcano is located at the northwest end of the Santa Cruz Islands in the, Sol in the Solomon Islands. Mm. It forms a small three 0.5 kilometer wide and steep island, which is the upper 25% of the very active stratovolcano that rises more than 3 kilometers from the sea floor. Tinacula mm. is very similar to Stromboli volcano in Italy. Tinacula's active summer crater is often in Strombolian activity, and the glowing bombs it ejects often roll down a steep slope of loose ash and scoria extending to the sea on the southwest mm -hmm. side of the island. So, with the rainy, se uh, rainy season, I'm assuming lahars are pretty common on this island. Anyways, the small 3.5 kilometer wide Tinacula was inhabited until 1971, when a major eruption and tsunami occurred and, prompt and prompted people to abandon the island. Uh, Tinacula has been frequently active since it was first discovered by the Spanish explorer Alvaro de Mendaña de Niero in 1595, which that guy actually seen on the Geography Now for Solomon Islands. Um, but yeah, here we go with a 4.6 earthquake in Panama. But yeah, more details, links will be in the description box below. Um, so background, no, no recent earthquakes, starters. And in the background, um, so the main, the mainly andesitic uh, Tinacula volcano resembles Stromboli volcano in having a breached summit crater half open to the to one side. It extends from the 851 meter high summit to below sea level, yet to below sea level. Landslides enlarged this scarp in 1965 and created an embayment on the west on the northwest coast frequent historical eruptions have originated from the cone from a cone construct, uh, constructed within a large breach crater these have left the upper flanks of the volcano and the steep apron of lava flows and volcanic clastic debris within the breached unvegetated uh, I want to say landscape. Anyways, the flank cone of Mendania is located on the southeast side, named after the first western observer of an eruption of the volcano. So, anyways, gonna get to that actually. But yeah. 1971 eruption and tsunami. A major eruption of Tina Kala began on September 6th of 1971 when a large explosion occurred from the summit crater and produced two pyroclastic flows on the east and west sides of the volcano and was followed by a tsunami 30 minutes later. Second, second explosion and followed also followed by a tsunami occurred a day later. The explosive activity at the summit was followed by an evasive phase that opened a fissure vent about halfway up on in the western wall of the landslide scar below the summit craters. A lava flow from this fissure reached the sea. At the same time, intense strombolian activity continued from the summit and built up a new summit cone, and incandescent blocks were observed, reaching several hundreds of meters above the crater. The activity increased towards the end of September and in October, Ended by December, most of the population, 160 people, were evacuated. Um, 
appears on the 6th. It happened at 6 p.m. local time. Um, the people of Neo Village on the Dravinian Island heard a loud heard a low continuous thundering sound coming from the volcano at the same time a thick dark cloud poured, poured from its summit until the sea between the volcano and Dravanian Island including the new the two neo villages facing it was engulfed in the low lying thick dark smoke the thundering sound and dark smoke vent on uh, went on the no, dark smoke went on for about two hours, and about 8 p.m. local time, there was a sudden burst of a large, louder sound. Simultaneously, a huge flame shot up from the vo summit of the volcano. This flame was described as later dividing into two corkscrew-like forks of fire, one slanted to the east and the other to the west side of the volcano. There was no panic shown by the people who watched the episode at the stage. At this stage, as the older people assured the younger ones that the volcano used to behave in this manner many years ago, and they should not be alarmed. However, the comforting words did not last long, very long because about 30 minutes after the flame died down, they heard the roaring sound of the breaking waves coming towards their shores. As the night was very bright, with the moonlight, I don't, I were, no. What the heck? I'm not redoing this because of that person. Um, as the night was very bright with the moonlight, they saw that the sea began to recede, uh, recede in an unusual manner. Knowing that a tsunami was coming, the families began to gather in groups and move to higher ground. Fortunately, the sea did not reach the houses and, it, and no injuries occurred, which is good. Um, another flame and or fire fl flared up at about 3 a.m. Um, the next day, and a subsequent tsunami was observed uh, three and a half hours later, traveling northeast from the volcano. Um, and then 1840, a power and po yeah, a powerful eruption occurred at Tinacala about eight around 1840, producing pyroclastic flows on all sides of the island, killing its inhabitants. Um, so, down over here, latest, yeah, 2019, possible eruptions, there we go, so Tina, yeah, so, and this was from January 29th of 2019, the volcano might have recently entered a new eruptive phase, a small steam plume can be seen rising from the summit crater, as recent photos taken from a passenger board an airliner passing over the volcano shown showed in addition weak thermal anomalies have been detected on satellite data new activity is likely a small scale stromboline type eruption from the summit vents the most typical activity of the volcano the volcano very similar in morphology and activity style to stromboli in, a, in Italy or Batu Tara in Indonesia is one of the most active ones in the Pacific and erupts on average every few years. The last confirmed activity took place in 2012 due to its remoteness and lack of population and monitoring, as well as the typical small scale of its activity. Not all of eruptions of the volcano might get noticed. Um, so yeah, I guess I would explain why an eruption in 2019 is not confirmed and is a bit more questioned. Um, but nonetheless, that does seem to be it. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye.